we asked you to do <laughs> some readings. I did. Of a few couples that have piqued our curiosity. Let's start with Kim and Kanye. Well, they're, they're actually beautifully suited for each other. Amazingly so. Um, he's a Gemini. Of all the people you asked me to look at, there were six. Um, he has the best chart. I mean, just, he's born on the, um, you know how I talk about the luckiest day of the year? And this year, the luckiest day of the year is September 25th or 26th, depending on your time zone. It happens at the beginning of the day on the 26th. He was born on the luckiest day of the year. He was meant to, to rise like cream. She's a Libra, and Libra and Gemini get along great. Now, before I go on, if you're with a person that you know astrologically isn't a natural mix, I want you to realize I feel anybody can get along with anybody else with a little extra effort. These two get along so easily that they can finish each other's sentences. They both have the moon in Pisces, which is lovely. It's very emotional. And this is great for a musician, for Kanye to have the moon in Pisces. Oh, it, it's one of the best places to have it. I'm so impressed. You know, Bieber is a Pisces, so he's done well, too. <laughs> but uh, Kanye has the moon in Pisces. That's just as important. And uh, they, they just seem to see eye to eye, and they both have a strong need for fame. And really? <laughs> So they would understand each other. I think that's really hard to live in, live in a fishbowl like she does. You know, she's Libra, rules marriage, and we know her three marriages. Isn't that amazing? She liked to get married. But she, she did like a good it. job at it. There were gorgeous <laughs> weddings, right? 